I'm very sorry to the magistrate and everyone involved, but no one's been sorry to me. I've been listening to voices in V2K audio harassment for months and months now, and the police have literally run me out of town before, um, out of my home in Footscray, and while I was incarcerated, they took everything I own and took it to the tip. Um, that's called disability discrimination. Now, I've been um, aghast with the amount of neglect and abuse that I've received systemically and politically, and I'm a person with a mental illness. I hear voices, even today as I decided to leave, um, because the world doesn't want me. IBAC doesn't want me, the government doesn't want me, um, the Prime Minister doesn't want me, and the Whistleblower Protection Program doesn't want me. The police clearly don't want me in their town or in their position. And um, my family have I've finally understood the clear message. They have excommunicated me out of their life. Now, it's difficult for me to understand that. And I had to hang around for a long time after I'd already killed myself and then I was revived from death um, to live as a squatting infamous vagrant fighting for his rights and his human rights and dignity at the expense of losing them. And I've just suffered so terribly under this government and under the police who I can't report being drugged and sexually assaulted to, who condoned me being violently attacked by a covert government criminal um, underworld government thug inside a hospital and they condone violence. My dog has been harmed when I was in Footscray and they harmed my dog. In another case, when I was run out of town by police under the Mental Health Act, literally, I've, I'm a person, a human being with a disability. They ran me out of town. I can't get it through my head. That's that's what happened. They, they used the Mental Health Act in a very clever way. Of course, I don't want to go back to hospital, the place I've been seven times and still today don't have a psychologist, psychiatrist or even a GP. Like, they're not helping me. And the NDIS, they're not helping me. They are aiding and abetting my death by neglect. That is a fact. And, uh, you know, that innocuous threat that I made that I could have possibly have done because I'm a secular Buddhist and, sec and secular ethicist with non-violence had had contained in it the solution to my political impasse, which includes acknowledging my former relationship with Steve Isonides, the ASIO agent. Now, if anyone in Australia has a relationship and they break up, they expect that there's a settlement to happen. It's a different rule for everyone in Australia and a different set of rules for me. And I've been abused, neglected, and for that very key thing that all police are complicit in, all health officials are complicit in, all politicians are complicit in, and all lawyers are complicit in. I can't believe my luck. My human rights abuses are documented, but no one will sign off on it. I've literally just been ran out of town, an infamous vagrant. And what of the V2K voices, the torture, the auditory hallucinations that were planted because I told them I had a device and everyone kind of agreed that that was possible um, and about being called a rapist, a pedophile, an extortionist, a fucking, you name it, the faggot, they called it to me. This is an absurd way of weaponizing my very brave narrative, uh, expressing my vulnerabilities and weaponizing it against me. It's, it's not okay that they used it in order to torture me. I can't, believe, I can't believe this is real or this is happening to me. I must have died and when I came back, I was put into another dimension which was slightly differing to what could have been a positive reality and actually was hell on earth. And I'm sorry that we did a runner. I understand that as soon as the police pull us over, like it's the National Disability Insurance Scheme that have done the um the the um the, the crime put the crimes against me in the avos they're obviously going to find me i need the help from the NDS. i'm fucking my goose is cooked every way i look every way i go i can't win i didn't want to go to, to um to, to to prison i'm a peaceful person i'm not the bad guy i've been drugged and raped i've been violently attacked it's not okay that those things happen to me 
or that I've been systemically and politically persecuted for years and years and years, or that I've never had justice and I've been fired and run out of town, and um, that I was run out of town to hide in a fucking, in a hostel, and then have um, gang stalking audio call me a fucking rapist, <laughs> and then I fucking went out for a walk with my dog, and then somehow an out of control car fucking runs us over in the street, Moses fucking down. This is a violent conspiracy that doesn't care for my welfare, for my health, for my safety, or for my imminent risk to my life. I, I, I can't believe this is happening. That was that the, the, the authorities created the conditions in order for that to elicit a reality in which I was could be maimed and couldn't um, contact officials. That's that's not okay. It's, it's not okay right now that I don't officially have a home. It's, it's the Charter of Human Rights of a, pers of a person with a disability, the UN Charter, that's ratified by the Australian government. It's not okay that I don't have a home. That, that's in breach of the Charter. It's not okay that I don't have privacy. It's not okay that I don't have civil and political rights. It's not okay that my human rights abuses are documented and no one will sign off on it. It's not okay that I'm ran out of fucking town. I, I can't get it through my head. My goose is cooked in every way. I've only wanted to do what's right and what's best for people. I haven't ever wanted anything more than a basic house, food, medicine, shelter, and and um, the ability to serve the community again. That's all I ever wanted. I, I didn't get that. I gave the NDIS in that email the opportunity to solve it, and I wouldn't need the NDIS. It's very simple. Just acknowledge the relationship that me and Steve were in. I've been hearing voices for years. I, I don't know how they do it. I've found some voice patents of V2K audio harassment technology, and I'm convinced that it's a, a conspiracy of electronic, covert, um, high intelligence gang stalking. It's, it's not okay that I had to put the dog in the car and, and pack what little possessions I had in the shell of a fucking home that wasn't even a fucking squat where I wasn't welcome. I had no choice, but I had to leave. They were going to, the cat team were looking for me. They were going to lock me up and they think I'm insane. The, the world's insane. I am insane, but the world's insaner. I can't believe this is happening to me. I'm sorry to the magistrate if I get caught and I, I just hope the powers that be let this one go and just let me live a life as a vagrant somewhere else. I don't know where I'm going to stop. I don't know how I'm going to get there. I've got no money. It's really bad. This treatment of me is abhorrent. You can't hold something against someone. For you can't. If if I was any of those accusations, then arrest me. You know, just don't fucking do it in another way, which elongates me to to make me suffer more. I had my own mother's voice the other day say, "Are oh, you a pedophile?" Oh, I don't know how they get the recordings. I don't know how they put it into my head. I really don't. Just before, I was coming back from this person's place and the people were yelling, good luck on your trip. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I, I'm under 24 hour surveillance. I can't fucking escape. There is no escape. I am trapped in every fucking dimension possible. In the emotional, in the spiritual, in the physical, in the financial in um, the society and in the politics. I am absolutely a cooked fucking goose. Well done, you've persecuted me to death. I really wouldn't see a reason why it wouldn't be likely or possible that I just pull over the side of the road, put a fucking uh, 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 thing into the back of my car and fucking asphyxiate myself and forgive myself of this reality which is so cruel and so hateful and has so much malice towards me. I just hope that if I get caught, this can be played to the magistrate because I only wanted to do what's right by everyone. I haven't wanted much. Everyone has rights. I don't have those rights. Everyone has legal rights. I don't have legal rights. It's in, a, it's in spite of the Charter of Human Rights for a Disabled Person. Come on, give me a break. I, I am... Up, I am the, the, the Charter also says the government must provide a recourse for justice, but how do I get that? under the UN Charter when it's the very government that's abusing me. I can't win anyway. The, the Ombudsman's 
re rejected all future correspondence. The National Anti-Corruption Commission's fucking rejected my complaint altogether. The Prime Minister fucking neglect neglected to act my long letter and neglected to meaningfully intervene. Sending me to the Attorney General. Did you see the photo of me in the Attorney General? I'm, I'm, I'm like cosmic. Am I Jesus Christ? Am I Jesus Christ here to forgive everyone? I just need to know because I just, I actually think I might be here to forgive everyone. I'm going to live, live in the world. I've got to forgive the entirety of the country. I'm an infamous vagrant. I'm famous. I'm, I don't understand what's happening to me. The abuse and neglect has been so profound. All I know is I wasn't welcome and they didn't want me. And Free Living Australia didn't want me and my family didn't want me and the police didn't want me. Maybe they'll let me run away. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm so scared of what this malicious conspiracy will do to me. Please have mercy when, um, oh fuck, I just got done for a speed fucking camera. Oh, there we go. That's great. Okay, look, I'm going to get off the phone. Please have mercy for me. I'm a, a nice person. I'm terribly misunderstood. This political and systemic corruption is really torturing me. Please go easy. I, mean, I don't deserve jail as a solution to save a dead body or, or to accommodate me because it's less expensive than if I got justice. That's corruption. Please let me go.